Hi, my dear Geminis. Welcome to Lucy the Antigua Tarot. My name is Lucy and thanks for visiting me. I'm so happy to be here and to have the opportunity to read to you your reading for the month of July 2016. So, my dear friends, let's take a look at it. Okay, my dear Gemini, so here is your reading for July. It's a nine card spread. Um, in the center, you have the Queen of Pentacles. A very beautiful center to have. Coming into your reading, you have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups. And following that, you have the Seven of Cups. And then you have the Eight of Swords. And these are the cards that are crowning your reading. In the center you have the Five of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and you have the Ten of Pentacles. And then at the bottom of your reading, which is your new base, your new foundation, even though all of these cards are affecting your energy in the center right now, you have the Page of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and Temperance. So you guys have one, two, three, four cup cards. You have one Swords and one Pentacles. You have one Major Arcana, which is Temperance. And you have two Court cards, the Page and the Queen. Let's begin by taking a look at your Queen of Pentacles. This is the Queen of Pentacles. This Queen is the Queen of Pentacles, and Pentacles make reference to Earth, things of the Earth, being grounded. And this is what the Queen of Pentacles is. Now, in astrological terms, this person, probably somebody you know, or some of the characteristics could make reference to somebody you know but generally because it is an earth based card it could be somebody who's either Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn and this queen is very independent and self-made she is generous and she's nurturing she's comforting, earthy, strong and dependable She's also creative and innovative. She can be an artist, a musician, works well with her hands, loves to create. Now when you get this card, and this card is at your center, my dear Gemini, the call to action for this card is the action for growing and flowering. To grow and to flower, you need to give it your love. And that's what this card is saying to you. So maybe you're feeling this way. Maybe you are working on a special project, or it could be a relationship, and um, you want the relationship to grow and flower. So it's telling you that for that to happen, you have to give it your attention and your love. And that's what this queen is saying. This queen also makes reference to getting comfortable in your home um, it might be telling you that it's time to get your personal things out and about your home um, it's also maybe about redecorating taking the time and uh, your creative energies to redecorate your home in terms of work it's telling you to personalize your workspace or it could also mean perhaps in a relationship that you are uh, setting up home with someone. Okay, you're reaching that step of commitment to set up house with someone. Regarding finances, it says to put your roots down and get settled. It's all, it's all about commitment and security. So this is, this is the card that is at your center. It is a beautiful energy to have at your center. The advice is good, so if you are working on a specific project, if you're doing something special, if there's something great going on 
and you want it to grow, it's telling you that you have to give it your love and your attention. And that is your queen of pentacles, my dear friends. Okay, coming into your reading, you have the four of cups. And this is a this card can represent many different kinds of things. Uh, there's a lot going on with this card. This young man is sitting under the tree, and he is uh, contemplative, perhaps. Now, this card can mean that you are bored. You could be feeling bored with your professional and social status. Okay, the, it might represent a phase in your life where you are, where you are feeling perhaps maybe a little dejected. You're feeling sad. You could even be feeling a bit depressed. Okay, that's what's going on with this card. Let me kind of move this back a little bit. There. Okay, you might be feeling unmotivated because your life maybe you has become somewhat bored or you're feeling that your life is somewhat bored. You are feeling disappointed for some reason, perhaps. Or you could also be um, excessively defensive about something. Okay, so that's what this card could be implying for you. This is a general reading, my friends. So this is a very general reading. This is one of the things that the card might be uh, communicating to you. It's kind of um, indicating that perhaps you may want to reevaluate your options. You might need to do some deep introspection, you know, examining or observing um, your own mental and emotional process, doing a little bit of meditation on that. And it's also advising that perhaps if you are feeling bored, to consider engaging yourself in something a little bit more interesting right now in your life. Okay. This card is also could also be indicating or telling you to be realistic. Uh, remember that you can't change people. Love them as they are and look at what's at hand what's in front of you um, and not at what you are daydreaming about okay uh, regarding finances uh, it's telling you to watch out not to spend more than what you have okay regarding finances it's also it's also um, reminding you to be grateful that you have uh, the life that you have that you maybe perhaps you're working and you have some blessings in your life and that you are able to to provide for yourself and maybe your family and so to be grateful for that in terms of love it could mean that you are waiting for uh, something to come in like an ideal an idealistic love an ideal love to come in even though you do have these three options in front of you so like it's like almost like you're depressed because you feel like you're not finding love yet you have some options in front of you that you're not looking at so it's kind of maybe reminding you to perhaps maybe you want to take a look at those okay so those are the three different major things these this card can represent right being depressed and not happy with, with your, how your life is now. Okay. And then the, the second one is to be realistic and to be grateful for the blessings you do have. And then here, you're, uh, in terms of love, you're, being, you're looking for an ideal love, an idealistic expression of your ideal of love. And it's telling you to be realistic and look at what's in front of you. So this is the energy that's coming in for you right now with this reading. These are the cards that were dealt, and this is the message that's coming in. Okay? Now, you are being followed by the Seven of Cups. And this card is all about choices and decisions. So 
So what this card is advising you is to narrow your options. Don't look at too many options because the longer you look at all the different options, the longer it's going to take you to make a decision and the more difficult it's going to be. So it's telling you to narrow some of your options down. So perhaps you are considering maybe, um, you know, starting a new project or changing your life in some way to make it a little bit more interesting and uh, you are considering doing something, maybe you're considering doing a, a numerous things and maybe you're feeling a little bit confused about that and you're not really sure what to do or you're feeling a little bit confused so it, they could be connected okay and also it's telling you, you're, you're feeling dissatisfied and you're looking for options, but remember what the advice the queen was giving you, right? That if you want something to grow and flower, that you need to give it your love and attention. So that's um, something you might be considering or thinking about or you should think about perhaps. And it is crowning your queen, so that's pretty indicative. As a matter of fact, these three cards are crowning your reading. So this is kind of like the mo the thing that's like really for maybe in your mind right now that uh, you're thinking about, okay? Now you do have following that beautiful seven uh, of cups, you have the, uh, the eight of swords, okay? And um, this card also can mean different things. One thing that it means is that maybe you're holding back. You're holding back maybe emotionally or maybe in your uh, communications, expressing yourself. Maybe you're being too cautious. Maybe you're, you're being just like too cautious in terms of uh, narrowing your choices or figuring out uh, in terms of love or work. I mean, it's just telling you that you're being cautious. You are keeping yourself single because uh, you don't think about uh, relationships as a positive thing. That could be another thing and hence the idealistic love that's coming in with your four of cups perhaps. Um, you don't want to get hurt again and maybe that's why you're feeling defensive and you're feeling a little bit like holding back and cautious. You don't want to get hurt again and maybe you have issues of trust. Maybe you feel that, um, you know, somebody's going to take something away from you that you really care about and love. And, you know, so th what this card is telling you is to face, face your fears. Okay? If you're feeling fearful about confronting things or making decisions and choices, maybe you're not too sure. It's telling you to kind of just face, face that. Face the reality, face the fears, and to not fear the unknown. If there's something new that's coming up into your life right now and it just feels really weird and you're not feeling too sure about this, it tells you not to, to kind of face it. Take a look at it, you know, examine it before you make any final decisions because it might be a really good opportunity for you. And that's what this card means. So it's it's a, it's a, it's encouraging you to move to to move on that you need to move on and you need to open up leave the past behind and I think the important thing about um, holding back and not expressing your feelings that's pretty much what's going on here this person is completely isolated from the village. There's the castle back there. Let me see if you guys can see it. And she, this person's over here by herself, really far away, in the trenches. Very difficult to move. She's barefoot, even. And there's like this muddy water, and God knows what else is in there. So um, it's a wonderful card. And it is in your crowning section of your reading, my dear Gemini. So that's something to heed, to, to, to think about you know, to consider, okay? So you have these three cards coming in, 
both of these three cards are, um, I wouldn't say that they're like highly conflictive. I don't think it is that. I don't really see conflict with other people, but I do see perhaps inner, inner growth, the potential for inner growth. Um, um, perhaps there aren't any really sudden changes going on, but it is kind of like things are kind of shifting a little bit and you're having to, you know, reconsider some things and you're having to look at some options and that is, a, sometimes that can be a scary time. So I, I think that it's kind of natural if that's what's going on, that you feel, you know, a little defensive and holding back. But you do have a beautiful queen of pentacles here. And you have the ten of pentacles. We'll be talking about that one. This is also a very positive card. And you have the page of cups. In Spanish, that would be Sota de Bastos. See, Sota de Bastos. I bought these cards in Guatemala, and that's why they have the titles in Spanish, too. The Major Arcanas and the Court Cards. And I am in Guatemala right now visiting family. So this reading is coming to you all the way from Guatemala. So that is a very positive card. So is the Three of Pentacles. So you have some really great cards here, especially in the second half of your reading. It's only that at the beginning, it's kind of like telling us, okay, these are some of the underlying energies that perhaps maybe you need to um, work on, um, deal with in some way, figure out how you're going to work it out. You know, and then you have these five of cups. And um, in, this, in this image, you can see a river, a bridge, a fortress, and five cups and a man all dressed in black. And he's barefoot. Okay, so the river, the bridge, which is white, and the fortress right there on the other side of the bank of the river. So this card represents disruption. So maybe part of your foundation is being tested. There's been some upheaval or some agitation, turbulence that's been happening or that has happened. And uh, if you see, there's three spilled cups. The cups are all about emotions, and you have four cup, four cards that are cups. So this is maybe a, an emotional month for you. Three of these cups are spilt. Two of them spilt a red, su a red substance, which represents wine. And there's nothing wrong with that. But one of them is uh, somewhat green, and that one cup represents poison. So the implication of this symbolic um, image of the spilt cups with the spilt contents in red and green is telling us that there are things in relationships that have things that, let's see, how do I want to say that? That doesn't sound right. Okay. In terms of relationships, relationships have things that are good for us. That's what it's saying. Like the red wine would represent that. That was something that's good. But it's spilt. So maybe that's what's shaking your foundation. But it's reminding us that also relationships can be bad for us. Hence the cup with the green content representing poison. So, my dear Gemini friends, with cups, we are working with our compassionate energy, with our feelings, with uh, our sentiments, okay? So this card reveals, is re this card is a revelation. It reveals um, that even though there are a lot of good things about relationships or a relationship that you're having perhaps right now, there are also things that are unhealthy and that are toxic. For us and that's what this card is saying so now that this reality is being revealed to you love and hope are there and love and hope are represented by the two standing cups here in the back and they're also represented by the white bridge because the white bridge is telling us that that all, not all the, the bridges haven't been burned 
that there's still hope and that if you cross over to the other side you will find hope there so you just need to go over to the other side and maybe charting on unknown territories is scary like the eight of swords was telling us this card right here but this card here is telling you that you yeah you're gonna have to cross that bridge okay so this card is all about the five of cups is all about learning from our experience and that and identifying those things that are good for us and those things that are not being able to identify those things that have fallen over to the, to the wayside and that they cannot be retrieved anymore because they're just not healthy for us. Okay? We really can't recuperate them. And that is a, that's difficult, especially if it's, um, you know, people whom we've been close to, like in a relationship. This might be a relationship reading. Okay, it's a general reading, but it, it's giving a lot of uh, messages of relationship um, with someone. Okay, so there's something in that, you know, the breaking of relationships are usually very devastating. Uh, and there's a lot of changes, but they're not sudden changes. It seems like maybe this has been going on for a while, because if it were a sudden change, you would be getting more drastic cards in your reading and you're not and then you have the queen of pentacles and you have the ten of pentacles and the ten of pentacles pentacles represent things of the earth and they also represent finances and you have ten the ten of pentacles my dear friends which means there's plenty you're doing okay in in terms of your financial status Okay, it did tell you to be careful with your spending, but um, you're getting this card. Now, in this card, it is telling you that it's time to make a decision and to not to give up, to have faith and to keep going, move ahead. Okay? Um, it says to take advantage of an opportunity that is right in front of you. Okay. Now, in terms of work, okay, in terms of work, um, this card, in terms of work, this card is telling you that finances, money, you know, if you're wondering about a question regarding to work and finances, it's telling you that um, if you have a thinking of a question, it's telling you the answer is yes. So anything that has to do with finances and you're thinking of, let's say, you, should I invest in whatever, or should I spend this money on this, or uh, do you think that the, this will happen in terms, will I get a raise, or whatever, return in terms of work and money, if the answer is yes okay so it's a very positive card but it is telling you to move forward it's a time to make a decision move forward have faith and don't give up and take advantage of an opportunity that's right there in front of you all right okay so um, now we're going to look at the at the base or these three cards at the bottom of your reading and we're going to start with the page of cups okay and the page of cups is a messenger it can represent a messenger it can represent creative beginnings and it can represent synchronicity so the page of cups like all the pages in the tarot represent some sort of a, of a beginning or a renewal, okay? My goodness, that is so related to everything that's being said in your reading right now. Now, this page of cups is um, 
you know, he's dressed in a blue tunic with floral prints all over it, and he's got a, like a bohemian type of uh, beret on, on his head, and he stands alone on the seashore with a single golden cup in his, in his hand, and uh, a fish pops out of his cup. And uh, the young man's just simply, he's getting ready to make a toast with his cup and drink, take a drink. And instead he's, conf he's, he's confronted with the appearance of this fish, whom, by the way, appears to be talking to him. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see here. Can you see that? The fish appears to be talking to him. The Page of Cups indicates the surprising and unexpected nature of inspiration that comes to us from the realm of the unconscious and the spirit. Inspiration is seen to be something which comes upon us most unexpectedly, unexpectedly and often in a manner that we do not understand. So the Page of Cups signifies the beginning of a creative project or venture, my dear Geminis. It is an indication that there is creative energy trying to burst forth from your, uh, into your consciousness. Explore this newfound creativity through art, drama, dance, music, wherever that creative flow takes you. Your unconscious mind is also trying to speak to you, possibly through your dreams or through your synchronistic encounters with significant people. And I think it is very significant also that this card is coming out um, right below your Five of Cups and your Four of Cups. Four, five, and then you have the page. That's like pretty cool. Really positive. Amazing, amazing positive card for you right now. This is a general reading, but some of this might uh, make sense to a lot of you. The, the message that you're getting from these encounters and these dreams uh, is that you must be open to the unexpected. And occasionally, um, bizarre impulses of the creative spirit. Okay, be open to those things to the unexpected and to the those impulses, uh, occasional and bizarre impulses that you might be getting. Do not shut out inspiration simply because it does not fit in with the rational point of view. So maybe you might want to throw rationality out the window just a little bit of it. The Page of Cups may also be an indication that um, your intuition is very sharp right now and you may receive messages from your unconscious mind. You may be more inclined to act on a hunch or have a psychic experience. And so this is a good time to, tr uh, to trust your initiation and your gut feeling. And that is such great advice because it looks like you have some important things to consider. Here you have the eight the queen and your and your page these are connected very nice card it's giving you some really nice nice messages I love it um, let's see what else um, the page of cups oh, let's see here okay so also the Page of Cups encourages you to take a fresh perspective on a difficult issue and to approach that situation with the benefit of a doubt. So it makes sense if you have decisions to make and you need to move forward and you're not feeling too sure. All of these four cards you have up here um, are very, very relevant to these messages. Okay, approach it with love and compassion. That's what it's saying. And go on your hunch. The Page of Cups um, tells you when it appears on a reading 
to never stop listening to your intuition and believing in your dreams. If you cease to dream, then your dreams shall never come true because they do not exist anymore. They will die. So in your darkest moments, dreams can often provide a ray of hope with the Page of Cups. And it's, it's telling you that, that this, um, the Page of Cups can manifest this hope. So dare to dream and all things become possible. So that's the second time they're mentioning hope to you. To have hope, not to lose hope. There's hope on the other side. Okay, love and hope. Beautiful, 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 beautiful card. Beautiful reading. Oh, my goodness. How inspirational. Okay, my dear friends. And then the next card that follows you is the Three of Pentacles. And this is a really nice card also. As a matter of fact, this card is a good omen. And if you look at this card, you see this young man here. Okay, and he is a student of architecture, and he's just completed finishing this beautiful structure here, and these are his master teachers, and they are admiring his work. And he's kind of like on, he's on this bench, which the bench means stability, because it's got four legs, it's stable, and you can stand up on it, but it's also like he's, he's in the spotlight, like on stage. And it also means that uh, he's moving forward from student to master in his profession, in his art. So you may be joining a new um, um, force, a new group of people who are related to what you are doing in terms of your work. Uh, you will may maybe meet up with a new team of, of people uh, you, may, you may be taking on a new role in this, in this endeavor of working with, with a group. That's what this card is telling you. So it's telling you to work on being in a team. You know, find that harmony. Use the harmony because three is harmony. That's what three represents in the tarot. It, can, it also represents balance. Well, and they're the same thing, right? To have harmony, you need balance. So focus on your work and focus on your finances. Work on be working in a team and being collaborative. It's about promotion. It's about understanding. It's about future planning. Things are looking good. But assess where your money is. And if you lent any money out, you're probably going to need to recuperate it. Request that they please pay it back. Spiritually, seek out a spiritual group. And in terms of love, if you are looking for love, this card is saying that it's right there. Maybe someone, it may be someone you know. So this is a very positive card, and it's right below your, your Queen of Pentacles. And your seven of cups beautiful reading very nice and then your final card is temperance which, which is your only major arcana which is great you know that means that you're doing you know basically you don't have any really major major stuff going on all of this is fixable and workable in in during the month okay so this card is all about balance and juggling multiple things in our lives, okay, and not just one thing. So you're going to be maybe busy for a while because this is a, you know, this take these cards take a little longer. It's about mixing and matching. Aim high and try to achieve all those things that require your attention, your home life, family life, professional life, your money matters, your finances. All of those things um, that you are juggling, okay? And she has the cups, and she's juggling moving water from one cup to another. That's part of the balance. 
and the cup, she's got one foot in the water, that's emotions. Okay, so it's balancing your emotions too, my dear friend. Okay, and it is following the path of the instinct. Because whenever you have a road that's curved like that, and it's going towards the sun, so that's a very positive thing. It's follow your instinct. Don't be logical. Be instinctual. Listen to your heart. Listen to your feelings. Listen to your instinct. That's what it's saying. Very cool. Very cool. Make sure, though, that you are realistic when setting your goals. So you have to set some goals here. You have to make some decisions with the seven cups. Be realistic. Do your work. Have a plan. And make sure that you can do everything that needs to, to be done. Make sure that you do everything that needs to get done. Look at the big picture. Don't just look at the small little t details. Step back and try to look at the big picture, the long term. And plan to do and plan and do accordingly. That's what it's saying. Wonderful advice. This card is also telling you to be positive and remember that you have time ahead of you to get everything done. You've got time. There's no rush. It's impossible to get everything done like in one day or yesterday or all do it all tomorrow. Be open to new challenges, but you might not be able to take all of them in right now. Choose carefully. Balance. Balance. Seek what is truly important in your life. Do some reflection and listen to your instinct. Again, very connected to that Seven of Cups. Okay? Seek what is truly important in your life. Do some reflection and listen to your instincts to what is really important for you. And do that. Focus on that. And also what was important last year, two years ago, six months ago, what was important in the past might not be important for you right now. And that is the energy that's leaving you right now, my dear friends. So that is the reading for all of you Geminis, dear Geminis, for the month of July 2016.